Hey folks, this is Keith and you're watching Barbara's Auto Help. Today I've got a video for you of my experience of having a locked up brake caliper due to a seized up piston. Now before you watch this, keep in mind, when I made this video, I had a cold. I had a really bad cold, so I sound really rough. Now in this video, I do go over some diagnostic steps to find out how the caliper is actually failing. In this case, the piston was seized up in there. Uh, I've got another video, however, with some more comprehensive information in it, and I'll have the link down in the description there. Uh, it's just below this video. I would suggest you watch that if you're wanting a more comprehensive video on how to diagnose your caliper seized up or your brakes dragging, watch that video. However, this, this video is good too, and it has its own merits because I actually physically had a bad caliper piston when I made this video. So uh, I think this could help you. Uh, you can glean some very good information from watching this video. However, it's not the whole kit and caboodles, okay? Here we go. Hey folks, this is Barbara's Auto Help. Um, I'm in my 98 Nissan Frontier, and uh, all of a sudden, thing just starts pulling to the right. I let off the steering wheel, and the car wants to pull off the road. Um, I suspect my brake caliper's locked up because I keep smelling a burnt smell, kind of like burning uh, brake material. So uh, we're gonna get it back to the house and, and see what's going on with it. Houston, we have a problem. Yeah, it looks like something's going on here. I think uh, either the slide pin's locked up or the uh, the piston's actually locked up inside the caliper. We're gonna take it off and see what happened. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is check to see if my pistons are seized up. The way I'm gonna do that is just take a pry bar, kind of pry out on it a little bit and see if it'll push in. That seems very, very stiff. pretty stiff too. Also, they went in a little bit, so I ought to get some side-to-side -side play with these slide pins here, and it doesn't seem like they're moving. So we're going to take this off, and we're going to investigate a little bit further. Try to pry this thing out. It's kind of stuck. There we go. I'm not going to let this dangle on that hose. We're going to sit it up here on top of this upper control arm. Yeah, that one's moving. It's kind of a little bit wobbly though. That one's moving too. Let's check the pads out here. pretty well burn up. Alright, so we saw that our slide pins are sliding freely, however there is some play in them, so we're going to go ahead and replace those definitely. Um, but I'm still curious about these pistons here. It, they seem very resistant going back in. I didn't get a good uh, bite on that rotor to push them back in with that screwdriver or that pry bar. So <clears throat> now that this brake pad's out on the back side here, we're going to have enough room to put our pry bar in and uh, adequately test that. I usually um, use a caliper compressor, uh, which is a special tool I have at work. Uh, this happened to be on my day off that this happened, so I'm having to improvise. And, uh, you know, it is a good way to show you how to do something without all them special tools. So let's go ahead and put this back on. We're leaving the back brake pad out, of course. And you don't have to. Tighten it all back up like it was before, just just so it's securely there. Just take the pry bar, stick it in between the rotor and that piston, push out on it. It's going, but it is hard. It should not be that hard. Yeah, that, that bottom one is locked. Slam up. It ain't moving. It should move a lot easier than that. Now, these flex hoses here, uh, they can also uh, break break down on the inside and allow fluid to go in, but it won't allow fluid to go back out. So if you're concerned about your brake hose and you think that might possibly be it, which it's not in our case because we got one piston that goes in and the other one's not, they're using the, both the same hose, so we know the hose is fine. 
But if you have a single piston uh, type of caliper um, and you're, you're curious as to whether that hose is clogged up preventing the brake fluid from going back in, a simple test for that. Loosen this bleeder valve here just a little bit and then try to collapse that piston. And if the piston, piston goes right in and brake fluid starts squirting out, then uh, you know that your, your hose is clogged up and it's not your caliper. You need a hose. So uh, that's the way you can figure out if your hose is actually clogged. Now I'm just going to jump in right here real quick and make a little caveat to this. Um, it's not quite that simple. Further testing is needed to confirm for sure that the hose is actually failed. And I do go into that in the video in the description that I have a link to. So please watch that video, guys. So it's a caliper we need. And this piston right here is the one that didn't collapse. You can see it's still pushed out more than the other. So we're going to go ahead and put that caliper on. Now, you saw how my, my car was smoking earlier, or my wheel was smoking earlier. These brake pads got really hot. And in reality, I should be replacing this rotor, and I should also be replacing the bearings inside there. Uh, but like I said, it's an emergency repair. I don't have all my tools here, and I, I don't suggest doing this, but I'm just going to replace the, the caliper and go with it. Thank you for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. And please read the entire description down below this video before you use any of this information or apply any of this information on your own vehicle. Uh, there's more very important information down there that you need to know before you apply this.